My doctoral research contributes novel hardware and software techniques to the field of light field imaging. Light field imaging is the branch of optics which enables cameras to do some pretty surprising things. For example, after a light field image is taken, the focus can be adjusted, the depth of field can be changed, and shifts to perspective can be made. Additionally, light field cameras are capable of three-dimensional scanning. The thing that makes light field cameras so special is their ability to not only measure the color of light that enters the lens, but also the angle at which rays enter. One of my biggest contributions to the field is a technology that I call the digital aperture, which enables arbitrary control over the shape, size, location, transparency, and number of apertures used for imaging. This level of flexibility is unparalleled and enables some new and exciting imaging techniques. To get a better sense of how the digital aperture works, let's look at a few ray traces. Ordinarily, a lens images an object like this. In-focus rays, like the gray ones, form a spot on the sensor, while out-of-focus rays, like the red and blue ones, do not. Ordinarily, these out-of-focus rays form a blurry ring on the sensor. But rather than take this blurriness at face value, the digital aperture works by sampling the blurriness to learn more about the scene. One implementation of a digital aperture requires little more than an LCD screen placed at the lens. The LCD serves as a light switch, blocking light where the pixels are black and allowing light to pass where they are white. For example, by blocking light from all but the top portion of our lens, we observe a blue ray arriving above a gray one, which in turn arrives above a red one. If we then admit light only from the bottom of the lens, we observe the opposite ordering and that the gray ray hasn't moved. From this information, we can determine that the gray rays emanate from a point on the focal plane, the blue rays come from a point in front of the focal plane, and the red rays come from a point behind it. In this way, and with a little knowledge about the physical dimensions of our camera, the digital aperture light field camera can determine where in three-dimensional space all points in a scene lie. This gives the camera the ability to do three-dimensional scanning. With some slightly more complicated math, the digital aperture can overcome image blurring resulting from things like lens aberrations and poor focus. This is achieved through a novel deblurring technique that we're calling programmable deconvolution, wherein the digital aperture is used to modulate the point spread function and therefore also the frequency response of an imaging system. By choosing these modulations carefully, we can exploit the principle of null filling in the frequency domain and generate superior multi-image deconvolution results compared to previous single image methods. In short, the digital aperture and its programmable deconvolution technique enable us to see details in microscopy, photography, and astronomy that previously had been either difficult or impossible to achieve. Thank you.